Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Let's just walk right into the Magitech Research Facility. Hey, how's it going? Will you let me in? No, no, none of these guys will let us in. We gotta talk to this guy. Hey, hey, alright! And how exactly are you going to distract the soldiers from their, uh, factory? What the hell are you doing? You're behaving like Kefka. Oh, well, Kefka's already sick, so... Or, he's always sick, but other than that... So let's climb these steel beams. Hey, if you're gonna spew, spew over there, man. Into, uh, the nothingness there, whatever. Why did they even feel the need for that euphemism for throwing up or vomiting or something like that? I mean, how could those words possibly offend someone? I mean, unless you've been thrown up on, which I have not, but other than that, we can't go to the right yet, so let's head up here. I love the music for this area, one of my favorites in the whole game, like the Phantom Train. Okay, enough fun. We've got to take care of these guys. Proto armor and hip squeaks. We got to take care of. Let's use angle form since that always hits enemies. All enemies. Blue lock got a potion. Now proto armor is not weak to water. Only the pip squeaks are, but they're all weak to lightning. So uh, nice thing about aqua rake as opposed to aspic is that um, uh, well. Aqua Rake always hits all enemies, although it still suffers from split snip damage for some godforsaken reason. If only there were a water elemental spell that would hit all enemies and not suffer from split damage. hi -yo! And we got a Flame Saber. I don't really care for the weapon um, for equipping purposes, but eh, it's a slight boost in magic power, why not? I prefer, prefer to throw them at my enemies, but that's just me. Let's see, let's head down through the right pipe here. It's nice to know that they rolled out the red carpet for us. I got some new carpet for my uh, cat's litter box because I keep on track, I got like a little mat under it. And now the cats won't even go near it. So I had to get rid of the new pad for it. It had like some ridges in it to catch some of the kitty litter because it was getting all over the floor, but and eh, they don't trust it anymore. So, oh well. Let's give the thunder blade to lock there. Nice thing about these weapons is that they uh, have a 20, I think a 25% chance of casting like fire one or bolt one or whatever. It when they hit an enemy, it'll cast the spell in addition to it. So that's kind of nice. Let's see, do I want to head up? Yeah, let's head up first. Let's see here. Oh, we got a couple new, more new enemies. Garms and Commandos. I believe they are all weak to water and lightning. So, let's stick with Angleform if they... Well, if God decides to actually do his job. But, other than that... Well, we got a tent. How you steal a tent from a Commando without him knowing it. I don't know. Unless the dogs are the commandos. Well, I guess we'll never know. It was kind of funny how I figured out that my cats don't like the new carpet I got under their litter box. I saw Stripe jumping out of the litter box, and she jumped over the carpet so she didn't have to touch it. Like, like I put a piece of aluminum foil around the the litter box. Yeah, I already know they don't like aluminum foil from the Christmas tree. So yeah, if you ever want to keep your cats from getting in the Christmas tree, just put like aluminum foil around it. Because it's like, uh, their claws don't like the metal for some reason. I, I don't know why exactly, but that works for me. Yeah, they were just kind of looking at me like, how could you do that to my bathroom? We got the Dragoon Boots. It adds the uh, jump command. It replaces your fight command, essentially. Yeah, they're mostly useful for characters like Edgar, who can use spears. 
because spears will double damage, or, well, deal double damage when you jump. So, you still spend a round to do it, so it's still not that useful, and, uh, what is it? The... Oh, I'm blanking here. <laughs> uh, his tools will still deal more damage, so it doesn't really matter right now. Eventually, the Dragoon Boots will be better, though. But not right now. Man, what happened to the encounter rate here? Just skyrocketed on me. Let's head down here and get a gold helmet. Now, even though there's some armor that's better than what we've got already, like the gold helmet there, uh, or headgear is what I'm referring to primarily, I still like the green beret because the HP bonus outweighs the defense bonus in my opinion. find a secret treasure here. Gold armor. All right, now that is indeed better for Edgar there, so let's give that to him. We'll hold on to the mithril mail for later, in case we got multiple heavy armor users, because we won't be able to buy gold armor for a little while. One more. You know, one thing I think I really like about this area, it reminds me of my industrial technology class I took back in junior high. That was my favorite class of all time. All right, we got a tent, and that's the last treasure here, so, uh, I'll just uh, off-screen backtrack into the beginning of this area because there's nothing we can do up here now. Or this part of the area. Uh, this, the second part of the Magitech factory. Okay, so let's just head to the right here and uh, hide behind this Magitech armor so no one will see us here. Alright. Uh-oh. It's Kefka. What's he doing here? If you say so, that makes you happy, helps you sleep at night. What statues? Who are you talking to, anyway? You know, they say talking to yourself is the first sign of insanity. Or in your case, the tenth sign! Well, that's not very nice. Not like you could have gotten much power out of them anyway. You don't have the power of magicites! But we do, and we're going to show you how it works. Espers go down the hole. Well, let's stop Kefka once and for all, and then get the Espers. Or Kefka can run away. Nuts. Uh, we could just follow after them, I guess. Hmm. This one won't respond to us. Maybe they're dead. Unlike these guys. Ow. This isn't good at all. Now, they are weak to fire. Normally, I'd use Pterodon on them. But I'm, but Pterodon won't hit on both sides. So, I'm going to have to stick to uh, Wind Slash and hope that that works. And I believe they're immune to physical attacks. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. Well, at least we got rid of the one on the right there. And, okay, there we are. Flash works pretty good, too. Alright, now before taking on these guys, yeah, I want to rearrange my party real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Let's just take a look at our setup here. Blizzard Sword Unlock, Wall Rings all around, and Bring Lock into the front row there. Ow! What'd you do that for? Well, I suppose I kind of spoiled that it's a boss fight, but come on, wouldn't haven't we had to fight Espers or Summons or whatever to get their power first? But anyway, I wanted to use the Brawler Rage there on Gaw. I'll explain why momentarily, but for now, let's just move along. Use Ice Spells on Ifrits. And uh, things that pierce defense, non-elemental, stuff like that, otherwise. There, you see Blizzard Sword does a little bit of a spell there. It, sometimes, not always, but... And this is the reason why I have the Brawler Rage, because uh, if you had Slam Dancer, for example, to nail Ifrit there, um, well, the, uh, she'd be absorbing the ice now. So, Brawler, non-elemental. It's about one of the only non-elemental things Gaw gets. So, I figure that's the way to go. Now, let's just keep going on with fire! Bring out the chainsaw and the drill, Edgar. 
just like for my industrial tech class. They let us use power tools. That was awesome. Junior high. Or, you see, that was what they used to call middle school, junior highs. But, yeah. The thing is, is that after my first year in junior high, they took away the industrial tech and all the power tools and everything. It's like, what the hell? That was fun. And they replaced it with a computer lab with, like, simulations and stuff. And it's like, that's not the same as getting your hands on a power tool. But whatever. I mean, I suppose I should be thankful they at least let me use it for one year. Can we have your power now, Espers? Do you know where the other ones are around here? Can we save them too? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.